we can't use the same rule to find the missing length in a non-right angle triangle, a missing length or a missing angle in a non-right angle triangle. We can often use the cosine rule. The cosine rule is, it tells us a missing length if we know two lengths and the angle in between them. So if I know this length, this angle and this length, I can work out this one. And equally, if I knew this length, this length and this angle, I'd be able to work out this length. So I can work out a missing length when I know two lengths and the angle in between them. Or I could find a missing angle when I know all three sides. OK, let's look at an example. Here I've got find the length of AC. So this is X. And we can see I've got an angle and the two sides next to it. That means it's a cosine rule question. The cosine rule to find the length is this here. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So that's the formula I'm going to use. I'm going to use A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Now I want my A squared, this A here, and this, well I need this big A to be the angle I know. So this big A is going to be here. 92 is going to be the big A. Little A is going to be opposite. So that's going to be little A, that's going to be big A. And these two are going to be B and C. It doesn't matter which way around B and C go, as long as they're the other two lengths. So now I can substitute my numbers in. So I've got x squared equals 15 squared plus 16 squared minus 2 times 15 times 16 cos 92. Then I can type all of this in the calculator. So I can type 15 squared plus 16 squared minus 2, 15, 16, cos 92. That can go in the calculator in one go. So I type that in the calculator and I'll get an answer out. The answer I get out will be quite a big number because it's x squared. So I get the answer out for x squared. And then to get x from x squared, I have to square root the answer. So in this example, I square root the answer and I get 22.3 meters to three significant figures. So you type all of this in the calculator, get your answer and square root it. And that gives you A, that's our missing length. So we do another example of that. So the length of BC. So that's what we want to work out. We can see we've got two lengths and the angle in between them. It's a cosine rule question. So we write down the cosine rule to find the length. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. We want big A to be the angle we know. So this is big A. Opposite it is little a. And the other two are B and C. Then we can substitute the numbers in. So A squared is X squared equals 8 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 8 times 12 cos 33. Then you type that in the calculator, you get your answer out for x squared, and then you square root your answer. And if we square root that answer, we get 6.85. So 6.85 meters to three significant figures. Okay, now we're looking at an angle question. So find the size of angle ABC. ABC, that's here. We know all three lengths, so it's a cosine rule question to find the length. So we have to write down the rule first. So cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Now let's decide what A squared, what A, B and C are. So the angle is going to be big A. So that's big A. 
opposite it is litter A, and the other two are B and C. So now we've got cos x equals 15 squared plus 16 squared minus 22 squared over 2bc, so 2, 15, 16. So now we type all of this side into the calculator. All of that goes into the calculator and we get an answer for cos x. It'll be a decimal answer. So that'd be cos x equals zero point something. And then to get x by itself, we shift cos. So shift cos the answer. And then we get our answer out, which is 90.4. 90.4 degrees to three significant figures. Okay, another example of this, so ACB this time, ACB, that's over here, and we'll write down the rule. So cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. We need the angle X to be big A. So that's big A, opposite it is little a, and the other two are B and C. Now we substitute in, so we've got cos x equals 10 squared plus 12 squared minus 8 squared over 2 times 10 times 12. Type that into the calculator and that gives you your answer for cos x. So again, it'd be a decimal answer and then we shift cos so shift cos that answer and we get out 41.4 41.4 degrees to three significant figures okay here's two for you to try so pause the video and give them a go okay so the first one here is final length a b that's here we've got the two lengths with an angle in between them, it's a cosine rule to find the length. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. We need big A to be the angle. So this is big A, that's little a, and the other two are b and c. Now we substitute in. So we've got x squared equals 9 squared plus 16 squared minus 2 times 9 times 16 cos 40. We type all of this side into the calculator and we get our answer for x squared and then we square root it. So square root the answer and that gives us an answer of 10.8 meters to three significant figures. Okay, second question, find the size of angle ABC. ABC, X is here. We're working out an angle. We know all three lengths, so it's cosine rule for angle. So it's cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over two BC. Our angle is gonna be big A, opposite it little a and the other two in either order are b and c so we've got cos x equals 8 squared plus 10 squared minus 5 squared over 2 times 8 times 10. we type this side in the calculator get our answer for cos x, which is a decimal, and then we shift cos, shift cos the answer, and we get 29.7. So x is 29.7 degrees to three significant figures.